Welcome, Creative Faces, to Creative Sound Livestream. If you're new around here, please feel free to subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook. Also, follow us on IG and Twitter. Beware, these streams are longer than our usual content due to detailed breakdown workflow and interaction with our live audience. We encourage everyone to ask questions via the live chat box if you have one. We aim for positivity, so keep your negative thoughts to yourself. Grab your paintbrushes. Let's paint. What's up, Creative Faces? L up here on set from Creative Sound. Thank you guys for joining. What's up, Javion? What's good, folks? So this is a new uh, uh, series we started right now in this video. It's called the... Uh, we, 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 we're going in the vein of, of creating or recreating the album once I did uh, uh, sound check. I did that in 2008. I have a link to that. In the description area of this video if you guys want to check that out um to me that's um you know those that was years ago <laughs> kind of amateurs in my opinion but that was my first album like a compilation album that i did with uh um local artists in the area working with them and put them together on something that i produced and and did myself that was kind of like my first take at mixing and mastering and to me it sounds very terrible from just just my opinion i'm i'm a perfectionist i'm a little hard on myself but um that that was where that was coming from i wanted to to be in the music business i wanted to help artists i wanted to do things like that and um that was really what that album consists of just you know several people that i thought had talent so the link again is in the description also links to everything that i use and just like uh other affiliate links things that i that i co-sign i guess so to speak things that i approve of um it's in the description area so uh i <laughs> this thing has been really long overdue i've been contemplating on doing something for myself i've been producing records for everybody else and mixing mixing and mastering everybody else's records. I, so I was I'm like, you know, what if I just put, put out another album, um, uh, something from me, you know what I mean? And um, also have like more artists that I can feature on there doing different things. But uh, in this particular video, we'll be working on the intro. The intro is a little different from most intros you hear. Um, I kind of had this concept I did and um, I like to spend a little time in this video and kind of like go and just start creating some stuff. So I, what I'm going to do is take the, the intro of this song <laughs> and redo it, but like kind of keep the elements of the intro. So for some of you, this will probably be the first time you hear this intro. So um, this is what I got. Got the strings. So, when I did this, I was inspired by Timbaland and, and how he talks over the beat. And so, this is kind of like, you know, my version of that. Sounds so good. Techno safe now. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Drop the hats. Uh. Yeah. Give me the kick down. Uh. Uh. You ain't never heard no intro like this. Check my 
live as ENT. Check they sign. 218. Check they sign. Yeah, so uh, that was done in 2008, yo. And uh, we're going to be spending time doing it over or recreating the idea. I'm not going to recreate the whole album. I think I think I want to give like a like a uh show love to that intro and kind of like bring it up a little bit um i have like this this band concept like a marching band concept because that's my field that's my background so i try to sneak elements of of that into songs sometimes but i think i can really really take it there on this one that's kind of like my what i'm thinking what's up b number what's good was good so 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 these streams are super long and um and um it's it's i make my platform available to you guys to ask whatever questions that you you may have that's brewing and um um thumbs up on the video by the way thumbs up if you are new here new subscribers subscribe because i i go live all the time <laughs> um but yeah but this one is a little bit different. We we kind of going in a different direction. What's up, Devin? Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, yeah. We 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 are live. Absolutely. We are in here. Um. Also, also, I want to uh before I get started, um, something else I'm I'm working on. Um, I'm working to build my Instagram my Instagram page. So if you guys don't mind, just, just going over to Instagram. If you have an Instagram account and just follow me there, I spell my name K E V N E L I B. That's uh Kevin Ellip. So if you, if you guys go, go over to uh, Instagram and just follow me there. I'm going to just kind of type it in right quick. Trying, trying to build that up. And and over there is where I'll be uh, posting, you know, just different things, clips, whatnot, things that I probably, you know, that's not here on YouTube. Just different things that I'll be doing, covering different things. Um, yeah, connect with me there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to trying to build build up a little more. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, please do do that. I appreciate that. So let's let's paint. I think I got all that out of the way. Now we can go ahead and just make this happen. So here's my concept. What I started in terms of like recreating that the whole thing. Now, I I don't want to really focus on that area right now. So I'm, I'm I have like this cool idea right here. So we're gonna focus on this area, kind of build build that up.
So the horns, the horns is coming from Session Pro in contact. I think I'm a I'm a I'm a spend a lot of time building that section up using those horns. I might use some some brass from the the orchestral series. I don't know. Which is kinda of going with the flow. You guys know how I rock when I do lives. Just never know where you where you're gonna go. I'm gonna grab my my machine. Um not my machine, but my marching band kit. <laughs> This marching band kit comes from Battery 3. So if you guys have battery and you were wondering where this is coming from, that's that's where it's coming from. I want that to sound big. So, in order to do that, I'm going to take this.
and I want it to be like a flam. So I'm gonna just slightly move, move it. Let me grab. All of them here. Yeah. Let me turn this snap off because that's that's bothering me. Bring it down. Uh, the battery, the uh, the drums I'm using is called Marching Band. This comes from Battery Three. So 
if you didn't have battery three, uh, I don't know if you'd be able to get it because so so battery battery four didn't come. It didn't come with um battery three presets. You know what I mean? The sales or whatnot. Um, it's like two different. It's two two separate things. I don't know why they did that, but um, when you say like you, if you have battery four, um, there there is a way to go in and make and make um make a battery four read battery three files. Uh, it's real simple actually, but the thing is, you have to have those battery three files. Um, so if you ever was a battery three owner before a four came out, then you can actually go on their website and grab those files and resync them into, um, uh, battery four, but it's going to ask you to alter authorize. Like you have to be an owner. So if, if, if that's not in your account, it, it won't authorize it. So, but yeah, the, I used to use battery three all the time specifically for this kit alone. I was like, I was like crazy. I was like, I need that. So this here. We're going to get all of these. Bring those down. I'm going to send this. That way I can use this reverb multiple times instead of having it on each thing. Because I can see me using that. So let's set it up. Sounds good.
way down here. That's too loud. Let's see what Studio One has to offer as far as velocity. So I can make this thing follow, multiply, set all to multiply. Hmm, all it did was brought everything up. That's not what I wanted to do. There was a feature in Logic. I had to keep comparing stuff, but I'm trying to see if there is a... What is add? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I see what that did. I see exactly what that did. So with that velocity tool, um, this velocity tool, it just turns, okay, so if you say add, that means it turns everything down. If it's negative, everything down by negative 34 dB, or it turns everything up by this or whatever. Um, I was kind of looking for like a compression, like a velocity compression. I don't want to set it all to 111 or whatever. But that's that's interesting. Um what a okay, this is velocity right here. I could have did I could have did that like that. Randomize, here we go. No, I don't want to randomize though. Max velocity, fixed velocity. So it looks like they don't have anything like that, if I'm not mistaken. If I humanize it, that plays on the... Expand by 10%, extend part, randomize. Have tempo, time, distribute notes. Shuffle notes, move notes, cursor. No, I don't think I want to do any of those. I want, I need this to be bigger. So I'm going to grab another instance of battery. And get my marching kit back. And copy that. 
And what I'm going to do here is take all of these. I definitely made everything louder. I don't want everything louder. I just want it thicker. Like it's a... off any quantize and just kind of move it like slightly fighting with um, phasing issues. That's not what I want to do. type of effect what I put on that to make that a little more defined mm. I'll do a parallel aggressor that's what I'll do Parallel Aggressor by Baby Audio. See if we can get... different presets or whatnot. Parallel compressor. Definitely pushed it. This is without it. I like that. I forgot to tell y'all that this, 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 uh, this this album I'm working on is I'm 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 working well I don't have to work hard to make it sound different from anything else but like it's the goal is to make it sound as creative as possible without rules right I tell y'all that all the time so this is going to be the product of not sounding like anything you heard or trying to sound like somebody else this is just all me and like I'm just going to be doing things that's just like. Like, what the heck is he doing? Like, why would you do that? Stuff you've never seen before, no stuff you've never heard before. I'm just going to be trying things and just come up with something different. That's the whole concept. So when being creative, the whole idea is is to come, to come with something different, something fresh, something new. You know what I'm saying? That's... 
that's where I'm going with this. And hopefully Studio One can hold hold up. Cause I'm telling you, I'm just. So let's work on these horns a little more. Let's build that up. I'm thinking at, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to start my wood wings like right here. So that's at five. Okay. Typical things you will hear in the band is clarinets, flutes, um, oboes. Maybe I mean the elbows kind of come in the in the family of the flutes anyway, so oboes will work. Let's just check that out and see. I want you to come out of five. Make sure my inputs are on. Oh, that's too concert. It sounds too much like a concert band or orchestral. Could take the, uh, no, nah, I just go for, let's go for staccatos. Ah, it still sounds like a, Probably should have went for a solo. Let's try flutes. Let's see, arpeggios, legatos. Um, let's see. Make it tight. Down a release. Flutes don't sound. So let's go for. Let's 
flute ensemble. Let's check that one out. Sound the same. Yeah, I like that. Figure out the, the next part. Turn it off, quantize. Uh, turn this off. <laughs> yeah, I knew I was gonna do. It. All right, let's do that again. Bet you the first one, the first note didn't record, it didn't pick up. Let's see what that sounds like.
Now, if that stays there or not, I may move it to another instrument, but I like that. something these are bothering me Okay, so um, in a marching band, this will probably be not because, like, panning those things properly, I have the concert or the orchestral band chart for that. But uh, I guess I'll use it for this too. <laughs> of course, if I could ever find it. I don't think I have it. I must have deleted it by mistake. Okay, so let's search for one. It's somewhere on my system, but it's obviously not. Uh, let's see, orchestral chart, seating chart. Orchestral seating chart. So for for stuff like this you definitely want to follow um there there's different ones um for different ensembles but it it's you know I'm trying to find the one that's closer to how I learned playing in the band I think this might be close to it I have let me see percussion is definitely in the back and you got your you got your trombones, French horns, trumpets, tubas. I'm thinking, was the tubas? Tubas was the tubas on the right of me. I think. See, it just really depends. It's all really the same thing. Um, the flutes and oboes was in the front. So okay, so I'll pan the flutes like left. And then my baritones, violas. Wait, this is not. No, I don't like this chart. This is not. This is not what I'm used to. 
the cellos right there. But again, this is this is this is um I'm not looking to mix violins or anything because that's not well actually violins will be in there. So let's just say let's just say we're gonna do like an orchestral band with marching band elements. That's what I'm thinking because I can hear a, a full a full band on this thing. So I guess I'll just follow this. Um, percussions are definitely in the back, and that's the reverb. Take care is the range. So I already did that. I got a little reverb on it. I'm trying to make it sound like we outside a little bit. So I probably have to, I don't know. We just kind of going with the flow here, so okay. So I know my violas are like to the right. I think most of the times that's what I do. Let's turn them down just slightly. I may just leave them there. They sound really good. Yeah. So those are flutes. All right. Uh, flutes. What did we say? Let me see. So we got flutes. Do I need Where the heck is my chart? My chart disappeared, man. Where's that chart? There we go. Okay. I really need to find my own chart, man, because cause there's a lot of them out here. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of charts. And I have something. I can't find it. It's probably on. I don't know. Let me see. What is this? The chart is probably named something else, though. Man, I'm I'm upset that I can't find that chart. That's crazy. It was on my desktop, man. <clears throat> Let's try it again. Let's. Oh, there it go. I think that's it. Let's see. I'm 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 reviewing the the seating the, the seating arrangement. This is the one I had. Cellos, violins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I guess the tube is always gonna be on the left. Well, I mean, left, 
if I'm playing the drums, that's what I mean. I don't want y'all to get confused. If I'm playing the drums face, facing towards the conductor, the tubas are on the left of me. So it'll be opposite. So the audience right now, I guess, will be the conductor. So I'll just go from that standpoint. So I'll mix. So the tubas are actually on the right if I'm facing that way. I'm two things going on in my head. I'm like back and forth. Okay. So flutes to the left. Sweet. So we'll just use this chart. Follow the. And I, 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 I do this. And the, the, the concept right here is, is the same for when I make beats, period. I mix on the fly because it helps me hear what needs to be added. I just don't put stuff in there. I just I automatically start leveling things, splitting things up, painting things left and right or whatever, putting reverb in places because it helps me understand the music, get a, a vibe of what the... I like to kind of polish it while I go. That's just the way I like to do things. But that reverb make it sound like it's from outside though, so. So those, those horns, those are like uh, trombones and. Trombones and. To the right, trombones and trumpets, like. They kind of live in the middle, almost, like, boom, 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 right? Okay. Gotta get some French horns in there. I feel, I feel like French horns is, like, essential. Okay, so what is these? These are... I feel like those, this is trumpets and, trumpets and bones, but I gotta, I gotta say something. Oh, never mind. It's, well, the octaves I'm playing, you really can't hear no tubas, so. So it's uh, trumpets and bones. Okay. So maybe I can just kind of pan it a little bit like that. Should have been the other way, but. Let's get more horns. Now that I got the drums going, a little bit of wood, woodwinds. And so let's get some more brass. Let's get more brass in there. I'm going to get some more trombones. Trombones, I feel like trombones and French horns are like the ish I'm gonna move this up move this up here so that's gonna be three we're gonna say bones strictly bones yep 
Bones. Channel two, channel three. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Well, you know, just just do your thing. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. What's up, uh, Eternalist? What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm here a bit late. Nah, you good. We gonna be here for a while. Appreciate that. J Beast, what's up? What's up? This sound is reminding me of my marching band back in the day in the 80s. <laughs> wow. That's what's up. MK3 arrived yesterday. Process begins on my machine head doing my dance. That's what's up. Congrats to Carlton for his new his new endeavors. He said, actually I only thought it was one horn at first. Yeah, I was trying to, yeah, them horns, them horns did they thing, it was like, it was like, scoot over, Ella, scoot over, let us do what we do. It's starting to sound like a concert band, though. So I got to definitely, you know what? What if I, what if I just grab these? I'm gonna try to lock track list. I wonder what that does. Like, does it make make it not move no more? Cause 
I don't want to compare it to anything like that. Okay. have to move okay there we go Probably should start um, exporting the um, the freaking the routing. All right, let's get some stuff on the right hand side. I mean the left, because it's it's starting to be heavy on the right. So and see, with knowing the panning. With where things should be it's in terms of painting, I get to go for instrument that way. So let's go for a French horn so we can fill up some of the left side. Absolutely. So, French horn, French horn, French horn. We can go for brass. Let's get that French horn going. French. I don't have a French horn. There's just horns. I didn't realize I had I didn't have a French horn. Man, I love French horns. French horns. 
So it's just horns. <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's make that four. I guess they can't call it French horn. I I don't know. Yeah, that's four. Uh, three. We're gonna move this up between here. Make sure that this track. I'll just call this French horn. Oh, of course. I mean, it almost sounds like a French horn. Do I, do I want staccatos or do I want spiccatos? A million dollar question. Do I have spiccatos? I don't have spiccatos in here. What is going on? Okay, what about this? No. That... Marcado only works for the other horns. So that's not working in this situation. So, let's see. to the left. I think I'm going to program this in manually because... Kind of fill in the gap.
I'll put that in there. what I need y'all to do. not adding up Let's follow. I'm not understanding. It's like they ghost. Like, where's those notes? I can't see it. What the heck? So that's what lock means. Wow. Okay, I guess I guess I shouldn't lock that. Thank you. 
Okay. Seem like my whole system just cut out on me. I don't know what. But Studio One finally shut down. And we was vibing over here, man. I'm getting it back up right now. Well, I appreciate the likes up, the follows. I'm not going to blame this on Big Sur yet because this happened before. But for the most part, everything works, you know. I just probably need to, to upgrade my memory. That's all. So I'm getting Studio One back up. So all five of you guys, how you guys doing? <laughs> Any questions from anybody? We working on this. Uh... close down Chrome because that's probably part of the problem. Wait a second, that's not where we left off at. Oh, I guess so. But that's not... That's not right. Oh, 
I'll scratch it because I don't even feel it no more. <laughs> oh. Easy fix. Just scratch it. JB's in the building. So you're going to wait to the summer sale to buy some software half off. Cool. Cool beans. So once again, I'm trying to build my Instagram page. So if you guys are on Twitter, please feel free to follow me on Instagram. Um, yeah, I'm trying to build it up there. Build my build my my following ship over there. So on this journey, I will be sharing cool things, and I'm just trying to be creative creative as possible. And I just hope that you guys, you know, connect with me on there as well. Um, so you can find me on IG at K E V N E L I B. That's where I could be found on Instagram, and uh. I'll be posting snippets, videos, pictures, whatnot. I'll be working on the album work on this thing as well. So, like, just different things I'll just kind of, like, go through. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys are working on albums or if you're interested in doing albums and, like, the, the whole logistic behind producing the album. I did my first album back in 2008, which is the purpose of this video. So, like, what, 2008? Man, that's, like, over 10 years ago. So the 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 whole idea behind this is just, you know, I felt like I should go ahead and just push this. Do it, you know, not do it over necessarily, but paying tribute to that the first time I did it as well, taking elements. So this right here is a track that I did. It's the it's the part of the intro of the whole album. And I definitely want to show the 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 artistic side of me, which is what this is. Um, filling this thing up, making it epic or whatever, doing a little more with it. Um, the intro, right? The intro. I call it the intro, man. Um, I was inspired by Timberland. Timberland is, you know, like a lot of us, most of, yeah, like a lot of us, we look up to him for that musical inspiration. I know a lot of people, you know, back in my day and even still today. I feel like Timberland still has a a footprint in the music industry, so that's that's where that's coming from. So you will hear a lot of influence, you know, a lot of of what I did on that 2008 album, influenced by that sound. It's not mixed well, it's not mashed it well. This is this was my first time releasing something on my own. I had no clue what compression was and and like mastering it was like a year later after after i learned some things i was like wow i, I pretty much released the raw version of it so i may i may remaster it and release it again i don't know i'm i, I but i just figured you know i'll just just go ahead and just do a sound check too so i i don't know see how that goes What's up? What's up? I see you use Personas, Era Studio Monitors a lot. Would you recommend Era Series for the beginners like me? Yes, I would. I, I would recommend it to you. I think it depends on which one you go with. You Like, if it's for music production, if you grab the bigger ones, that might benefit you better if you're doing beats. I have the smaller ones. These are the five. 0.5 I think 5 something or 4.5 one of those but these are the smaller ones and I'm okay with them being small because I have headphones like these that I can get, grab the low ends or whatever but when I'm mixing I think these are perfect for mixing because um, the clarity in just you know overall I guess like the, it's just and for the space I'm in currently I'm not able to like use my bigger speakers but these works just fine i can hear clean like they're transparent like they they sound good to me and so these these been what i've been using for quite some time 
And yeah, I like them. Obviously, the big ones, like I said, is has a little more sub, you know, sub base base in in those. But um, th these are these are pretty good. These are a lightweight. On top of that, compared to the other speakers I have, like the Mackies, them things are huge. And the, those are like, I have the ones that is just pure wood, wood and metal. Them things, man, they weigh so much. But they sound good, though. I like how they sound, and they definitely hold they in. Like, I I mixed several records on those. But, uh, you know, yeah, I'll vouch for them. These are pretty good, especially for beginners, yeah. And they're budget friendly. But see, I had those Mackies before I knew about Personas. But maybe those errors wasn't out then. So how would I have known about them, right? I don't think they were. They did, I don't think they made them when I, when I bought the Mackies. But they sound good. So you want to do a beat tape. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, for the price, they are amazing. Plus the new release base. You know what? I I thought that was a new release because they always had a subwoofer. The um, yeah, they always had one, and I was I was wanting, I was interested in buying one from them. I have the KRK sub. I think that's a ten inch. Yeah, ten, ten or fifteen. I I don't remember. I think it's a. I'm thinking about it, I think it is a 15. But but anyway, it's by KRK. I use those for my sub end. So having speakers like this is okay for like the top end, and then you have a sub or whatever. I don't have that sub set up, and it wouldn't even make a difference anyway because you guys can hear the low end. Um, you know, translate it through what I'm doing now. Everything. So you you know, if you plug this in your system, and you have low end on your system, then you'll be able to. <laughs> see what's going on but um i just use headphones right now to to cover the low end stuff for right now until i'm able to to get back to my full studio so this is like the compact setup so i can really really spread my wings like i really really want to um but yeah um the bass from personas is amazing yeah so let's get back to it let's 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 con continue painting i have a lot of paint that i need to spill Spend a little time right there. Let's turn the snap back on so I can snap this. It's like it's ah. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, let's get this pin off. Now this bass. This bass is a combo. Bass masters and signal. Masses in here. 
Now, between these two instruments, I'm getting that, that sound, and I want to implement that because that sounded good. That actually inspired me. So, you know, sometimes in music production, like, the stuff like that just inspires, it sparks. I think it's the universe talking to me like, bro, you, if you add this spaced out sound in here, then your, your joint going to be, like, 10 times even better. So I just take that and expound on stuff like that. So... <laughs> In order to implement that little sound I heard from the bass, I'm just going to go to, this give me a chance to play with some airy type stuff. Um, I think Omnisphere is probably the best for stuff like that. Uh, Omnisphere or Content, actually, because I have... Um, I think I want to go to contact. Yeah, I think I want to go to contact for that one. Let's see. This is 10. I'm leaving these um, dedicated to the, the horns and stuff like that. So I'm going to go and duplicate this. And. Let's say 11. Let's pull up contact again. And I want to go and start playing with stuff like this. This might not be the best choice, but I just want to see what's in there. Get that Arcus, the Arcus going on. Yeah, boy. I might add this to the section, the other section. So what is this? Festival sparkles? Indeed. We'll do that.
Interesting. I'll just keep it right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, this is this this is the part where I just start bouncing a bunch of things down. Make make it atmospheric as possible. Airy as possible. Go back in here and find something else.
Yeah. Make it epic, y'all. Let's see. Okay, so in this section, I don't want the bass. Let's take the bass out. Yeah, that's how we're going to rock that one. 
Cool. find a transition to come into that. I hear the drums. I hear I hear a superior drummer right now. Implement that one in there. Help us transition. Oh, I did that wrong. I'm I want the I'm gonna need the reverb the yeah, I did that totally wrong. Felix, what's up? He said so I prefer personas to Mankey. Um, you know, to be honest. Um Yeah. I you know, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really, I haven't really did a test. Cause when I got, when I got these, hold on a second, let me see what this sounds like. Yeah. Okay. So when, when, when I got these speakers, it was solely because of the limited space I knew I will be working out of. So that's the thing. I didn't really do a a test, so I don't know. But they sound good to me, you know, for the budget. So if, if it's a budget thing and you want your stuff to sound really good, I would definitely prefer you to go the Personas route because you get a good sounding speaker for the, the, the budget. Floyd, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Appreciate that, uh, Sticks. Appreciate you. Yeah, so, so. Let's keep it, keep it moving. never heard nothing like this before let's get superior superior Place. Yeah, let's keep it.
this is what I was trying to do. Where? Okay. Come on, man. Let's get superior drummer here. Okay. Superior, it's on you. Oh, check that out. All of my kids are here for some reason. I couldn't get all of this to come in here at, at one point. Oh, uh, let's try this. Logwig Massive. Let's get these drums going. Uh, I'm an octave. Okay, so it's my high. Okay. Let's see, let's see how that does that. I gotta remember there's a different pattern than what I'm playing. Thanks. 
Them drums sounds good to me. Oh yeah, the horn parts. I gotta take that. HBU vibes. <laughs> Appreciate that, Willie. I mean, she ain't had feels good learning process. Absolutely. Do you say window configuration and you should go one like in Pro Tools? Um. Uh, where are you? Um. I don't know. I don't know where that question is coming from. How many do you save? Window configuration. I'm. I'm. I'm not really sure what that. What. What you're really asking. I'll be sure you good, man. You good. No worries. We. We still in here. We just really just getting started. To be honest with you. I mean, we build quite a bit, but you know. The sauce is still cooking. Yeah, but um, Carlton, if you can rephrase your question, I'm not really sure where you're coming from.
Let's get some more. Some more. Let's get some more of this. It's Arcus. Dude, this joint is dope. Time to learn the chords, I guess. Let's do that, let's do that.
Cool, 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 cool. Bastards. I hear, I hear, Super 8, maybe, it's right there in my, you know, you see how this works, Super 8 is right there in my face, it's like, come on, bro, I got, I got next, I got next.
that's not gonna work. Placement is off. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I gotta. Um, if you're gonna do this, Ella, you gotta set it up correctly. Okay. I hear you. So, with that being said, we gotta take this to song mode. Everyone, welcome to song mode. So right now, I want this all the way to 41, just for the moment. And then we can insert. This one right there. But first, Second scene.
definitely got to work on the horns a lot more. They're too thin. Okay. I need, I need a, I need it to come in like that. I'll get to it. recording.
I didn't realize my uh my super eight was maybe the preset change. those samples in here just not playing because I get a little wonky man I'ma just get this one out like that we're gonna just let's do it like that and the next one Next one. Oh. I think that was it. And I'll just mute one, two, three. <laughs> You want to act funky today. Okay. All right. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. Delete. I mean, duplicate.
YouTube commercials. Hey, you know, I got to make my money somehow, right? <laughs> yeah, I am monetizing. But YouTube and me, so if, if they are allowed, <laughs> if, if they are allowed to make money, I make a percentage of it, so. <laughs> but that's crazy though, right? You said you keep getting kicked out of YouTube? Really? Nah, that's whack. Now I mean I am noticing that the the it's going in and out. Like it's not. I'm noticing pixelation. Maybe YouTube is saying, hey, bro, yo, yo, your song is too big. The bandwidth is too big for, for us to handle all this, all the heat coming from your, from your system. <laughs> Maybe that's what they, they trying to say. All right. So at some point I have to go back to the top and, and meld all this together. Okay, so now I have to, there was some strings. So this is where the strings come in at. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, how are we doing this? Oh, you know what? I could play with these. I could play with the new strings from U Jam. Uh, if I downloaded it, I, I could have sworn I downloaded them. Don't tell me I don't. I didn't do it. Don't tell me. Oh, my God. I didn't. All 
I thought I did. I knew this was a perfect time to play with those. Perfect time. Yeah, I did do it. This would be an excellent time to get those on my system. You jam. New jam. Come on, log me in. Oh no. Let's log out. Wrong account. You jump. Just gotta remember my password. <laughs> Remembering the password is always Yes. Strings. Let's get these joints down in here right quick. Let's get these strings going. <laughs> Strings. I will show y'all my screen, but my my serial numbers is attached to this here, so I can't set myself up like that, guys. I just can't do it. And some of y'all are sneaky. Like up, oh, just call L up slipping. We're gonna get those strings. Nah, bro, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that to myself. Soon as I soon as I get it up and activate it. Oh. Like like this is such like a not a good time to be doing that in the middle of a stream, right? That's just that's just preposterous. Like why would you why would you upload? Why would you download and install a new open? Yeah, please open. Like what's wrong with that Ella guy? He just he just out of out of order. So in the meantime, I'll just talk to you guys. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? How y'all feel? It's uh what is it, Thursday? Thursday. So for those of you that are just joining I am working on my album and I'm taking you guys on the journey with me. I produced my first album in 2008 and I'm redoing it. This is what we're doing right now. YouTube is definitely not my friend. I'm telling you, sometimes YouTube just be doing things that uncalls for. And I guess I guess you you guys will see more of that because things is just getting crazy around here. Cause when I do more of this type of stuff, they're gonna be trying to they're gonna be trying to get me. With that being said, please follow me on IG. IG is where I live as well 
Follow me on IG K E V N E L I B. I spell Kevin without the I. So K E V N E L I B. L up Kevin L up on IG. Follow me there. Follow me there. Follow me there. I'm taking you guys through a journey, I'm trying to build my my subscription. I mean, not subscription. My following on IG. So if you guys are on Instagram, please make sure you follow me there as well. I really do appreciate that. Two hours to the weekend. Man, you're on top of the world right now, bro. You're on top of the world. Ready to cook up. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Let's see. How are we doing on the download here? Everything is downloaded. This is a four gig file. And okay, I'm halfway done. Making sure we on the right network. Okay. So a lot a lot is going on right now. I'm streaming live and I'm downloading a, a file. I'll be careful not to do anything in Studio One because I will probably murder my system. My Activity monitor is peaking. I'm looking at it. I'm monitoring it. Appreciate the likes, the thumbs up on the video. If you are someone that's watching and you didn't have that chance to do so, I appreciate if you would do that. That that um means a lot to me. Thumbs up on the, the video. And subscribe, you know. We are like 16,000 subscribers right now. And um, I would have hoped to have at least 20. Like that was my goal by the beginning of the year. But you know, it is what it is. I'm all about organically growing. Obviously, I didn't do enough stuff on here. To, but you know, all 16,000 of y'all, I appreciate it. And all nine of y'all that's currently watching, I appreciate it. <laughs> Get a couple of groups in the machine. The one in the 2012 MacBook, and it is, yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. This one, I just don't have enough memory on this one. And, you know, when I first bought this thing, I was, I was okay. Everything was cool. I, I guess, I guess, I don't know, I guess. I did do a lot to it since then. I have a lot of stuff going on, so you know I can't be can't be too mad at it. But the type of stuff I'm doing, I need to like definitely upgrade my my memory. Also, um, th throughout this journey, I know I'm not talking to the majority of my of my my subscribers, my family. But I just kind of wanted to throw it out there right quick to see. Um, I'm just thinking, maybe I should mention. It. I don't know. I um, I think I'm gonna move into like monthly subscription with with the content because um, the reason being is that I I I I spend a lot of time on YouTube. And monetizing my videos is great, but, you know, I don't make a lot from that. And I told y'all the other day, like, this is my career. I'm trying to, like, amp up everything, you know. But I think, um, like, providing you guys with this content, doing this full time, um, which takes sometimes, I and mean, I'm working on something at the same time, so it's not like I'm wasting time, you know. I am working on a real project. Now, if I was just on here, and I wouldn't even say that, that I'm wasting time. You know, I don't want to make y'all feel less less than, you know, that's not the goal. But I, I, I just, I'm just saying, like, when I'm working on projects, like, even the ones that I'm getting paid to do, like, I can let y'all in on that, that stuff. Um, The ones that has deadlines, 
you know, when I can't necessarily stream and because I got to like get the stuff in so I can probably like stream on those type of stuff when I'm really trying to get something in. But I think in order to do that, I, I, I'm not going to be able to do that on the public, you know, public like this. It had to be like private. So I don't I don't know. I'm just letting you know my thoughts. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that. Like those those private, like those exclusive type stuff. Yeah. All right. Install install. Yes, yes, yes. Agree. Yes. In, uh, um Yes, 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 yes. Install, install, yes. Put your password in. Yes, install. Thank you. I appreciate it. Install, install, install. Okay. So U Jam Strings is is installing. I'm a sucker for strings, man. Strings, horns, guitars. I say guitars and strings are like my my it's just my my main like I love those stuff. Yeah, so it's installing. It say about five minutes, four minutes now. Now it's three minutes. Now it's two minutes. Now it's about a minute. You know those videos that 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 speed up. That's what it's doing for me. It's just speeding up for me. Boom! It's there. But it is. Yeah. 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 Heck yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, so I got, I got those strings installed, but one last thing I'm going to do is move the, the, the bit file to my, to my hard drive. which is very important. I guess I'll show y'all this too. HD system user library application support. UJAM strings. Okay. So if you're on a Mac, and this this probably applies to to uh Windows. It's the same process, I think. But so I installed and this is for UJAM stuff. I, you know, so here's this is my hard drive, my external hard drive right here. Like I you know, this is yeah. I'm going to architect that and delete that. I can also delete this. I don't need it anymore. Okay, so this is my external hard drive, and this is my computer, the 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 uh, the home computer, the internal drive. So I went to computer. Like this is this is um where I went from the Mac HD the library application support. U jam and went to strings. Now to get strings off of your internal because see this file is four point six one. I'm gonna take this file and copy this over here. And 
as soon as that's done copying, then I'm gonna delete it from here. I may or may not have to restart Studio One. I'm not sure. Usually, usually Studio One is good for updating. I have to go and update the plugs, and then probably make like you got to tell this thing where to go. So I'm taking this off my hard drive, my internal delete. Right, that's gone. That's out of here. We can go ahead and empty the trash so it can be recognized. Yes, empty that. All right. So when I go, okay, let's get out of that. All right, so I can go to home and say plugin manager. And just say update plugins. See, it is recognizing it. Now it's saying it can't find blah blah blah. That's fine because I'm gonna tell it where to go. I want you to. Here's the blob for that. Recognize we should be good. Say Studio wants some plugs updated. Next. Oh, what? Never mind that. It should be in here. It should be in here. So now, yeah, there we go. Streams. So, where were we? Let's continue painting. The strings. I want to put these. Uh, right. So let's put it right there. In between that. And then I gotta. Plug in my. My email right quick. Activate the license. Cool. There are strings. And something I like to do is update the thumbnail. So now strings has a thumbnail in here as well. Cool. So let's play. Let's see what this thing sounds like. I have to do a review on this, but I guess this to be the, my, my overview right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Follow chords. See, I gotta get I gotta get more involved. Ooh, this thing is serious. This thing is serious. And this is a little bit different from all the other stuff. This is kind of built differently. I'm just observing. This thing is huge. And it's only four gigs. Okay. So those are not playing anything. Nice.
right chords, arpeggios, epic. Hmm. And this might be my favorite plug. See, ain't y'all great? Y'all, y'all glad y'all waited that I downloaded this. <laughs> this thing is immaculate. Got the motifs in here, uh, sustains. It's a lot of. Dang, man, you jam ain't playing no games, yo. They ain't playing no games. Dang, it is not playing. Follow chords. Okay, but ba so based on I don't think there's an option to allow me to play these single. It's, everything is coming with its own rhythm. Unless I play it like that. So if I play it like that. So what I do? So the original, the original time I did this, which was over 10 years ago. So this would have sounded. That, that's what I could probably do. Yeah, just switch it up. Yeah, that's what I could do. That's what I could do. So I'm going to play along with the original track. I'm going to play along. I'm going to play along. Just to get that, get that energy.
something like that, and I just had to fix it up. Wait, I didn't add that in yet. I didn't. Let's mute that. I did like a chord. Let's see. Oh, it's low octave. Low octave. And see, the strings I was using back then, I think, was Logic. I was using Logic, Logic stock strings, yo. <laughs> now I have a better string selection. Maybe I can use some of a... Can I make this thing go an octave lower? Let's see. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. It's crossfade. Crossfade. How much of this is using CPU? That's 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 going to be the question. Because I want to put a di another instance. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, nine percent. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's save this first. And I'm going to bring the strings in again. So I can get the lower octave. I'm liking this thing. This, this I, I can tell you right now, this is going to become a part of the, the uh, album making journey. Ideas, ideas. Okay. I'm like a kid in the candy store, yo. I'm just flabbergasted. I don't know what to do with myself, guys. What's up, Ron? You say, okay, I want it. Hey, make sure you go through uh if if y'all if y'all dig these strings, make sure you go through the U Jam link in the description. Um, give me a second. I I I, I need to verify if that link is there. Um or I need to put it in there real quick. Don't I have U Jam links in here? Oh man. The story of my life. There should be U Jam links in here, man. What? I don't have U Jam links in here? Hello. What is going on?
What is going on, Ella? Look, check this out. I'm I'm about to put this link in here just because I want those points. I, I want them points. So <laughs> give me a second. I'm going to I'm going to grab this link. I just have to. It just I didn't expect to use U Jam. I shocked myself, I know. And I end up liking it. And you guys liked it too. So I'm like, you know what? And people tell me they want it. Man, look, y'all help me out. And U Jam. Help a bruh out. <laughs> Cause it don't cost you nothing extra. It costs you absolutely nothing extra. But it just helps. It helps the channel. It helps me out. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You feel me? Y'all feel me? I hope y'all feel me. Yeah, this, this helps me out. It helps you out too because you get what you want but you know it does nothing like it doesn't it doesn't effect the I'm gonna make sure I grab this link right quick because you know you know Cause you know, oh my, what is going on? Get that out of here. Let's get that link. There we go. There's that link. Hope that link works. Hopefully this link will work. I'm I'm putting this link in right now, guys, in the description area. In the description showed area. U jam strings. Grab that right now. Go ahead and grab that right now. Okay, I'm also put it in the comments right quick. So y'all, you wanna just go, go grab it from the comment, the, the, the super comment, super comment area, whatever you call it. Super chat, the chat area. Cause that thing is fire. That thing is fire. Yeah. So if y'all, if you, if 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 I sparked an interest in wanting that fire, yeah, I appreciate it. Y'all just go ahead visit that link. And you know, I also respect you, Jam, for how they do things differently. I love it, man. Like, look how they spelled the strings. Like, it's just, what? Strings with four eyes in the middle. Strings. It's strings. Like, that's how you got to say it. Strings. Hey, man, you got that you, Jam, strings. Yeah, man. Yeah, appreciate that, Bluesky. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I just, I just not 
I, I didn't realize that this would be fire like that. I was just like, whoa, what's going on? Man, that's cool. I like that. Now, I got to ask y'all this. Now, when I drop this record on um iTunes, Apple, and all that stuff, would y'all buy it? Well, if it's on Apple, I guess you won't have to necessarily buy it. If you're already paying a, a subscription with Apple, you just put it in your collection, I guess. But would y'all listen to it? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I don't know. I might, I might, I might put it on a platform where... I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna put it on Apple now. Now I'm thinking about it because you know the whole thing with Apple, they take a percentage and you know stuff like that. I just if I have my own platform, when this when this whole project is done, I like to know if my subscribers will go ahead and and, and cop it. You know what I'm saying? That would be cool. It's probably not a good time to ask that because it's like it's just ten people watching, <laughs> but uh. You know, if if all ten, eleven, you guys can can let me know if this is something you would, you know, even though I'm showing you guys how I'm making it, I ain't gonna show y'all everything though. Like you gotta gotta wait till the end. But I'm 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 at least getting the process started, and I guess I guess you can see the direction of where we're going with it. You know what I mean? How many songs am I gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. Appreciate that, Dev, man. See, man, you a true brother. I appreciate that, man. Definitely appreciate it. Well, I got two people who said they would support. I appreciate it, guys. Um... So to address that notification issue, you know, I I don't know. I, I, I have a buddy who's been experiencing the same thing. And I'm not really sure why you're not getting a notification. That's probably why there's only 10 people watching right now. Because everybody didn't get the notification. Now, one thing is, um, all I can say is just make sure your notification is, uh, you change that to all notifications from this channel. But if you got that set already and you're still not getting them, I I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I've been streaming for a while, so I don't know if you missed the notification, but we've been in here for about two hours so far. So I'm I'm not I'm not completely sure as to what's going on. Yeah, appreciate that, bro. Appreciate that. Yeah, man, I think it's dope too. It's like my, my new favorite, actually. I'm like, whoa, the fire! Y'all got that fire going on right now. Um, I'm checking something. You got that fire, that fire, desire, fire, desire. You got that fire. What is going on? What the heck is going on? 
Okay, let's see. Let's log back in. Log back in. I usually get it on my phone, my iPad, but I did not set it to all. Yeah, so yeah, unless you unless you hit save to all, like save all or set it to all updates, it's it's gonna probably give you some notifications and not all. So yeah, that's very important. Uh, ditto on the same notification. I always check my check my favorite piece. I appreciate that, Brian. I am the favorite. Yes. Yes. I am the favorite. I appreciate that. Yes, I do. I appreciate that. Thumbs up on the video. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, guys. It's cool, though. We got to catch up always. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And, um, I emailed you my, 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 uh, my phone number, man. Just text me. Yeah, just text me, man. Updated to Big Sur, and it gave me a little problem when I tried to move some my files over. I think I remember you telling me that. But I was able to reinstall what I thought I lost. Okay, that's that's good. Whew, right? Whew, man. We almost we almost died out here, man. Man, we almost we all we almost lost it. I feel you, bro. You said this is a free plugin. <laughs> it's free. You know, I didn't even check that. I don't think it's free. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think it's free. Now, if it's free, then still, you know. But that's. Let me see. Let's verify that. That can't be right. That can't be right. I I didn't even look at the price. I don't think it's free though. But if it's free, that means y'all getting some fire. Oh, okay. It's say download free. That means you're going to get a um. Yeah, that means you're going to get probably like the most basic like like a um like a uh like like maybe like a demo. It might be a demo. But uh it's 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 definitely not free. <laughs> but you can download it for free to I, either either they allow you to test it out for a certain yeah they allow you to test it out for 29 days why didn't I even think about that because when I download this that was that was what it was like you could download it but there's a uh, they give you 29 days to test it so you know of course go ahead test it out see if you like it but you know we're gonna go ahead and fill this fill this baby up with these strings right here these strings sounds immaculate they just these strings are nasty. Nasty, bruh. These joints is crazy. Like you can do anything with them. It's cause they got effects. They definitely step into a sound design space.
All right, let's go. I guess that's to slow it down, C1. Snap, I didn't even realize I could Okay, this song is in what? I would imagine that this is um um Let me go to one of these horns. This is a D sharp minor. Okay. Let's go for D sharp minor. So let's change these chords down here. Let's change, let's say. Or E flat minor. That's probably what it is. E flat minor. I said D sharp. Wow. Shows you how much I know. Sync beat note. What? Uh, E flat. Yeah. There is no D sharp minor. Like what? What are you talking about, bro? But it's minor though. Not major. It's, I got E flat. Mm, it needs to be minor. How can I change it? E flat. Needs to be minor, man. Oh, that's cool. 
I'm gonna have so much fun talking about this. But I need to figure out how to make this. That's E flat diminish. They go E flat minor. Oh, oh, oh. I did, I did. That's different. I told y'all this thing is made different from the other ones that they make. That's different. That's different. Which makes sense though for orchestral stuff. Bass, the bass always move before the chords do sometimes to get that moody. This is genius. This is simply genius. This. I, I, look, out jam you outdid yourself. You outdid yourself, you jam. You simply outdid yourself. Well done, you jam. Oh, I can man, I can use this on the new the new video I'm editing. Bruh, this is crazy. Too much excitement going on in this one video. <laughs> Whoa. That's crazy. What's going on? It's too much for YouTube. It's kind of cool, kind of cool. It's too much, too much. Revert. Need to get back to what I was doing before. Oh, okay. Okay. Back to the beginning.
Oh, for the for the for the for the, the uh that 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 does was it one into into the ants. Oh, that's dope. That's dude. That's dude. That's dope. Did I follow chords? What? What? Oh, oh, let me change the sync. Sync note. Does that work? It wants to do that, but I don't want it to do that. Slow down, Jim Shoe. Slow down. I I need to control you now. This one right quick. I tried to keep it going. I don't know what happened, but you know, uh, something switched. Funky happened. Um, let's see. Key switch. There's nothing in the key switch. It's okay. So, what is going on? Under control, guys. Do 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 do. Why is that? Trying to cheat the system right now, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I gotta switch the phrase. No, that's 
not doing the same thing. Okay, I think I know why it's doing that. It's because they're too close to each other. So it needs to start over. It's thinking it's a, a continuance of each other. So that's probably why it's doing that. So, uh, first of all, it's off. It's off. Yeah, that's probably the first problem. It's got to be quantized correctly. Yep, that was the issue. That was it. Get over there. Get over there. Get, get back over there, man. What's going on? My timing is weird. Thank you. this one what it's the net yep 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 so that was the problem that was the problem actually i can delete that one too and just highlight these and just duplicate that did it did it did it Yeah, uh, but these, okay, Studio One is not being smart right now. not the plan yo that's not what we discuss but that ain't what we talked about let's regroup that is not the plan um mm -hmm, hmm. Pitch bin, that pitch bin need to stay locked right there, man. That's what the issue is. Okay, now now I can. I can duplicate this again like that. See one of my one of the problems was my marker was off too. Okay, let's see about this. Let's get this one duplicated over. Oh, 
points. I don't know what I'm gonna do right there. So right here these these section right here and we're gonna just turn the velocity down just slightly Let's see if that works I guess I gotta put that pitch bin back in there because it's acting a fool so let's do that Um, giving it a little bit of space in the beginning helps, I think. So you telling it, you saying, "Hey, um, this is what you're gonna do, right there." Drop the strings. Yeah, it's a lot better. Too much reverb. It's too much. Can we turn that off? Ambient. Hmm. Eric, what's up? Appreciate that, man.
<laughs> yeah, if it, uh, if if y'all if y'all buy this plug, <laughs> they will pay up. <laughs> uh, I got um in this vape. I got um uh, it's a killer cluster. Killer, killer cluster. Yeah, too much reverb. Turn it down some, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. Yeah, that's how you manipulate a plug in to give you what you want. I just cheated my butt around this thing. That's not how you use it, but I'm using it that way. Blend it a little bit better, you know what I mean? And even though I did that in the original, I don't think I want to do that like that. I think I want to do something like this. Yeah, I think I want to do it like that. It's supposed to come in right there anyway. What was I doing right here? Yeah, I think I want to do that right there, man. Do that right there. And let's uh get two bars of these. Put that right here. Put that right there. Right there. All right, let's go. So I put these markers to remember what I said. <laughs> yeah, so I, I just totally just changed it. I'm switching this thing. Because we're going right here. One, two, three. Yo, this is the intro. Yeah. 
Yeah, when plugins like this is cheap, it's only a hundred bucks, a hundred nineteen or something like that. Like it's crazy. Oh. Oh, let's repeat that. That ended too soon. Okay, let's see. Now, this plug, unlike contact stuff, already come with, you know what I'm saying? It already come with, see, with, with, with contact, they got a lot of stuff broken up, which is great for music composers. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely a great tool to have if you have the budget for this. But I think with this plug specifically, it's like they kind of mesh everything you can do. Like you can have, like it, it, it plays it for you. Like it has rhythms in here already that gives you inspiration and like the different crazy effects to make this thing sound like different from yeah like it already kind of puts in perspective for you and this sounds great you know what i thought that uh spitfire did this one i thought i thought that spitfire maybe not maybe i got that wrong it says it's by boris boris sacho is that is that the name i can't see it clearly boris sacho sacho so I guess Spitfire didn't. I thought I thought this was by Spitfire, like they collab with them. But there is one, Spitfire did collab on something with Native Ventures, I think. Boris Sacho. Yeah, I gotta give I gotta give him. Give him um. His props for this one. This is this is this is fire. So yeah, I I don't know. I just thought I just thought um I thought this was was Spitfire. I don't know. But these things sounds amazing, amazing. Yeah, I um I pulled the percussion from contact and battery and machine. So it's, and and um superior drummer. So it's about four different libraries that pulls this together. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, boy. Boy, boy. I'm, I'm excited about what I did. I'm getting fired up, yo. If you don't get fired, about, fired up about your own music, man, nobody else will. Or maybe they will. I don't know. I'm, I'm my own cheerleader. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I did, well, we spent the first two hours of this stream building that up and... Now I'm listening to it. I'm in a different section, and it's always good to go back and hear what that stuff is doing. Like that just gave me like a whole nother level of energy right now. Yeah, wait a minute. I was, I was. So good, sounds so good, sounds so good. Mm. Oh, let's get those, let's copy those, 
and let's put those right there no not right there no let's move that because that's the wrong place right there yeah right there and because we did that right there we're going to take this and duplicate that boom We need something to help us transition right there. Ooh, man. Y'all just don't know how good I feel right now. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm loving it. This is, man, this is crazy. Crazy, crazy. See, on stuff like this, I guess this is the reason why. See, I did the first album over 10 years ago. Coming from a space where I just wanted to be different. Now I get to revisit that and just be different. Do something just like unorthodox. Like, what? What the heck is Elop doing? What is he doing? What is these things he's he's trying to put together? What is this here? This man is doing all these crazy... I've never heard that before. I don't know. I don't know. Now I get a chance to use stuff I just, you know, couldn't use stuff like this in trap music, but on my record I can. You know what I'm saying? I can do what I want. Let the creative process begin. That just sounds so wonderful. I like that. Pretty soon, I'm going to have to go to. These are these are great for. Ooh, textures. What about that? Dope. All right, let's 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 uh let's get. Fairlight. Do I want to do Fairlight? Do I want fair light? Fair light. Do I want that? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, before I do that, let's make sure that this is cleared. I don't have anything in here. Like MIDI. Okay. I'm safe. Let's get let's get fair light in here. Ah oh, man. What's up to the folks over there in YouTube land? What's good with you guys? What's good? What's going on? Um, yeah, contact. Contact. We were talking about drums, right? So contact is. What is contact bringing? On the drums, contact is not bringing anything on the drums. As far as the drums. It's superior. So I got superior coming in, like bringing in the toms, bringing in that big sound, that big rock, rockish with reverb type stuff on the on the on the tom toms, and some crash here and there, and the kick. The kick kind of brought the marching band kick drum forward, which is in battery. Battery is the the second one. Battery, but battery is pulling battery three files in so that i'm i'm this is a kit called the marching kit marching band kit but that was in battery three you have to have had battery three to have it to come up because you know battery three right now it's not being supported no more especially not in the new contact versions so i could still have battery three files played in battery four so that's how i was able to get that and then um the third one is machine. Machine kind of brought it home. I got machine, um, the certified plug, the certified, um, the one that Snipe Young did. 
that brought it home. That was the very last thing as far as drums. And what did I say? What was the other one I did? Bells. I think those are the three, but contact, contact is what's bringing in the horns. That's what that's what mainly what contact is doing. Contact is bringing in horns, but the drums is is holding down in three different. If I said four, forgive me. I meant to say three. I can't I can't think of what what other ones is coming coming from, but it's just a mixture of stuff that sounds good, you know, just put together. Yeah, battery. Yup, 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 yup. No problem. Yoga flame. Flamey. Silk guitar. Plug in. They got highly underestimated. Hey, if you talking about U Jam, yeah. U Jam. U Jam is the GOAT. Well, not the GOAT. Well, in their own right. U Jam is the GOAT in their own right. U Jam always push forward some great stuff i remember when i didn't know anything about him and then when somebody told me about him, i'm like ooh. and then now i have a good relationship with those with those folks over there and like i i stand behind their products their products is amazing i use their like guitar um what is it called sparkle i'm i'm going back to sparkle to create something I need to do for this artist. So um and they 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 um effects are pretty amazing too. I use the flux. I use the micro a lot. The micro and the neo between those two is like what I will go between. The flux is cool. The flux will give you something really different. You gotta be ready for it though. Um you said silk. I don't think I have silk. Do I have silk? I need to hit them with that. Like, give me silk. Silk. Yeah, I don't have silk. I need it. I'm about to contact them. Like, look, give me silk. They, they, it looks silky. It looks like something I need to have. But I, I have sparkle. Oh, and it's an acoustic too. Bruh. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. Drop that in my account right now. Um, and then of course I'll do a review on it. That's the that's the only way I get them. If I do a review on it, it's not like it's. I don't have that type of relationship when when they just drop me stuff. One day I will. Hey, check this out, man. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta talk about it on YouTube. You just hey, check this out. Get give us your stamp of approval. That's what I hope for one day. I hope for that type of relationship with them one day. Let's see. All right, let's paint about it. Let's paint about this right now. Oh, wrong key. Said trap guitars. So silk got that. Silk got that fire. Silk silk is the drip, huh?
See what we want to do. That might be. <laughs> no. Did that just happen?
interesting. For some reason, I like that. It's different. I don't know. Everything else I'm gonna do over. Okay, let's get everything else out of there. took away the the uh I ain't mean to do that Like I said, Oreo, Oreo. Pitch bend it. Oh,
Why does it sound like it's in a different? Oh, this this thing have a different. Ideas. All right, y'all. I, I I need to get my system optimized back back on back online. Pretty much, it's like things are just spiking and doing all these crazy things. Stream is glitching, and um, yeah, gotta gotta pour my focus in. I think I need to jump into another project and finish this. But um, yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching so far. I am excited about this new endeavor like i say i just never expected to do this because i've been working on everybody else stuff and so it's time to uh, focus on my stuff um pure vision i didn't realize you was watching welcome man appreciate it <laughs> um yeah man What's the best way to acquire Arcus? It's um Arcus is a part of the complete thirteen library. I w wanna say 
it might be available it's like separate Arc is Arc is Arcus Arcus Arcus. Yeah. Native instruments is expensive. They they just everything is like two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, five hundred, everything that they do. But those are some great sounds. It sounds really good and it it's like another I I say I probably say Arcus and the strings from U Jam them two together right there phew, bananas you com you compile those together is is yeah it's crazy you'll get amazing orchestral sound cinematic sound that is so yeah. Um, but yeah, you can get that, um, through Native Instruments. That's a Native Instruments thing. I have links for that too. I don't have the direct link for Arcus. But if you go to... I mean, I could give you a link. Cause I I'm affiliate with Native Instruments as well, so if you want the link from there, but it's two hundred bucks though. Oh right, well, there you go. Native Instruments got fifty percent off right now. I think a lot of people are still doing the deals and the sales until the end of the year. So this will be a great time to get whatever you need before the. New Year hit. Wait till Xmas. You could do that too. You said it was on sale for a hundred bucks. Yeah, that will be the fifty percent off, I guess. But but I mean, it comes in complete thirteen ultimate. So if if any of you guys were looking to buy, you know, to upgrade to Complete 13, it actually comes in there as, as a bundle. Every Everything comes, everything I've been doing on my stream lately since 13 came out, everything is in 13. But I have the collector's edition, so, you know, that's a little bit more money. But all the stuff I have, I have not inquire nothing separately everything i have is included in 13 including guitar rig 6 all that comes in complete 13 ultimate collector's edition but most of it comes in the ultimate right but the collector's edition does have a few more stuff in there it's like their top top tier vip you know what i mean get the collector's edition said 2021 gonna be a good year i hope so i sure hope so you know based on just you know everything going on right now you know what i'm saying i hate to sound negative i i'm not gonna say that i'm i'm getting my frequency back on it on a high frequency right now let me stop talking like that but I mean, you know, it is the new reality. So I, you know, really can't can't really neglect what's going on now. Which is the reason why I do these streams. You know, I'm like, man, screw everything, man. I'm just gonna do these streams, stay creative, and just go with it. Just make it happen. Do what I do what I do best. You know what I'm saying? After, after, you know, at at the end of the day, you know, panic was was been going on and stuff 
that's getting ready to happen, you know, that just kind of brings your, your frequency down. But, I mean, you, you got to understand what's going on in order to uh, to get what's what you should be doing now and, and preparing for and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's 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 the obvious part. But um, once you get all that down, it's time to bring it up. Like, right now, man, I ain't thought about nothing. I just was thought, I, this music right here, I was just only thinking about what made me feel good. And that's all that matters. So when you get yourself locked away in this music, yo, this, this is what's going to make me feel good. I, I feel good about it. And the, the tools that I have, I barely touched. And now I get to, like, play with that stuff. So I guess you'll see me doing more in, like, I already do a lot of stuff in content. But now you'll see me do more, doing, doing other, I don't know, just being creative, I guess. But yeah, 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 yeah. No, I got to complete 13. Well, I, I do have the uh, complete 12 Ultimate Collector's Edition. So, you know, if you already have this stuff, the upgrade price won't be as expensive as someone that's upgrading from a total different tier. Like, if you got complete 12 alternate and you want the collector's edition moving over to 13, then there's a, a nice little price tag that comes with that. You said $500 is a pretty good price because of the four instruments plus Arcus and the ex expansion packs. I agree. That me, I agree. I agree with that. Because here's the thing. Like, a lot of people look at it as, man, that's very specific. But you got to think about how these things are designed and how well they are designed. So they are able to price these things pretty high. You know, um, it it's these things, these plugs are high, high impact, high quality. I ain't say that they were the best. There's other things that, you can buy, but you know you're gonna pay a lot more for those, of course. But but the complete libraries are are really good because you get like a bundle of everything, like everything in there. Just for the same price that the native instrument gives you, you probably like, for instance, like a Spitfire library name. You <laughs> them prices right there. You buying per instrument. Per, and they got a bunch of string libraries and you buying per instruments and you know after you done bought everything from them I think one time I looked at their site I was like oh my god I think their stuff is like on sale it was like 2500 on sale to get everything that they have so that means no it wasn't 2500 them junks was Twelve thousand dollars. Let me verify. See, Spitfire, but Spitfire is is the goat. Spitfire, Spitfire is the goat. Yeah, you go on um, Spitfire website. You you're gonna you're gonna be spending some nice money. You're going to be spending some nice coins over there. Spitfire, where is it? All collections. Spitfire Studio Orchestral Professional is $1,000 right now. Yeah, man. I, I'll show y'all. Y'all think I'm joking. Here we go. Here, here we go. The Chamber Edition. $1,500. Two grand. It's Symphony Complete. Um, I guess this is on sale. $1,000. 600 This is a 
sold separately, two grand, let's say 2100 right there. Scoring professional, Spitfire scoring essentials, 1500 I think I saw something where it's like you buy the, yeah, there you go, $15,000. <laughs> if you want everything, if you want it all, you're going to spend $15,000 to get their full library. I ain't make this stuff up. You can go to Spitfire yourself. Two thousand, but it's on sale because it's really twenty three thousand dollars. My bad, sixteen thousand dollars, or or fifteen three hundred, whatever. Yeah, might as well be sixteen hundred dollars because after taxes and all that crap, it's gonna it's gonna spike up the price. So this one, let's say about twenty five thousand dollars yo bruh so when you know there you go but see spitfire is on a whole nother level that's what they do for a fraction of that price with native instruments you getting drums you getting effects you getting you getting a bunch of crazy nice stuff you know native instruments their instruments does not sound there's not as it's not spitfire right but they sound damn good for what they offer and those things are developed really nicely they take the time and they and man they jab is on point like so that's why i rocks with, with um with um native instruments now if spitfire reach out to me and send me stuff then i'm gonna take it but i'm gonna let y'all know i'm like look this is a very expensive. I have Spitfire. I just have their basic library, the the ones that come free. I got those. When I do enough videos, then you know I might, I, you know, I might, I might get that that in, invitation ticket, and I'll you know. But there you go. Andre Bass, what's up, man? You got the machine. I, I I think you told me that before. Welcome to the machine, um, the machine family. You said you're gonna load up Superior Drama expansion pack before New Year's. I hope you do, cause uh, Superior Drummer is, is nice. Exactly. Sixteen thousand dollars, yo. So when people cry about native instruments being expensive, yeah, they are expensive. You know, to to the average consumer, someone that's not serious about this, or someone who don't have a budget for this type of stuff, um, that's that's definitely you know that that price is very pricey. But you know, it just depends on what you're doing and you know how good you want your stuff to sound. You know, that's going to determine how much money you need to spend. But at the end of the day, like I say on all of my videos, you can definitely capitalize great sounds using what you have. It's just all about how you fix it, you know, put EQs and, you know, mix it and stuff like that. I say the biggest thing for you would probably be just to stack stuff. Here's a secret. When you playing with strings, stack them with synth sounds. That's what thickens them up and make them sound you know bigger put some reverbs on there you know what i mean that's the secret um but yeah that that's something i've been doing for years how do you get your, your strings to sound so so thick and so blah 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 you know all of this you know stacking sounds and make it thicken them up and then um it just depends on what you're doing but that's that's the sauce i just gave y'all the sauce just gave y'all. I just gave it to y'all. You said with that price time, it should come with a computer. Man. <laughs> with that price tag, that's a that's a car. That's a brand new car. Twenty three thousand dollars, bro. Dude. Yeah, that's a car. That one one of my one of 
One of the ones I drive is cheaper than that. That's a car, bro. Can't we get a loan? A monthly loan to pay, pay that off, bro. <laughs> but I guess that's why things are being broken up. You know what I mean? You you won't pay twenty five thousand dollars for no no stream collection. You'll pay you'll pay like a fraction of that just to get things here and there. But I but I mean those come with drums too. I'm I, I don't know why I said it, but 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 um the the Spitfire drums are like like all this is orchestral. This is just specifically orchestral stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like you really heavy into like cinematic music. This is the library that the, the top dogs got that they're using to get that sound that y'all hear on TV and whatnot. But Native Instruments giving you just different things. Like you get synth sounds. You know what I'm saying? You get you get massive eggs. That's the synth engine right now. And you got 808s. Like like I feel like Native Instruments has a has a niche for just everybody. Everybody can jump in no matter where you, if you're a trap producer, you'll find some stuff in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you are R&B producer, you'll find some stuff in there. If you are a pop EDM, dance, whatever, you'll find stuff because they got Monarch in there. Um, they got a lot of stuff for techno. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of stuff in there that, that fits every genre. Spitfire is, is your orchestral library. Like that's just a whole nother lane, you know. You you're not gonna be doing no trap music with this library. Um, and not to mention, you know, it's not just strings. It's guitars, you know, the, the whole acoustic sound. You know, guitar sense. You, you know, when you see drum and percussion, that's just you know, acoustic stuff for like the you know the BBC Symphony Orchestra. That's I think that's where they sample everything from. It's the BBC Symphony Orchestra. Um, and their techniques through Spitfire is dope. They're, they're just dope. And, I mean, the price tag speaks for itself. They they can do that because of who they are. And, and they're, yeah. But like I said, I got the basic stuff. So, <laughs> you know, I, I'm... You know, I got the basics. The extra, the extra stuff. I can come close. I, you know, I have an ear for it. I, I can, I can come close. Yeah, this is what we do. This is what we do. You say, uh, Spitfire, are you talking about Spitfire and using contact engine? Um, I think some of them do, but the big stuff don't. Like, the, I, I know the, at least the ones I have does not use the contact engine. The, the, the ones I have, say for instance, I'm, I'm going to pull it up now because I may use it. Um, labs. Um, they on their own, their own engine here. I'm still live. I told y'all I was leaving. And this is the free one. They stuff sound amazing. Even the free stuff sounds amazing. A cello. Let's see. Like this. This is the real deal right here. This. This is the stuff. see that stuff sound like it got an effect on it and 
Hey, this is just the free stuff. You know what? I might use this. That's my French horn. Wait, is that right? I mean, there's a French horn icon, but. Hmm. Probably will be using those too. sound good them things are gorgeous oh my god let's see how does that fit how does it fit crazy that's crazy you thought i was done with the drums just showing y'all that man made me want to go ahead and add some more on top of that you could never have too many drums i'm trying to make this thing epic make this thing oh man that was dope Yeah. And that's free. Just imagine what it sounds like the stuff that you pay a lot of money a lot more money for. <laughs> oh man. Say so gotta know how to make it do what it do. Yep, 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 yep. Question is, what do the the pros use? Um, 
yeah, so Spitfire is one. Spitfire Library is one of the ones that, I mean, okay. The, okay. I'm not saying that that the pros use Spitfire only. The pros use native instruments. Yeah, the the pros use native the pros the pros can use stock libraries and make them things sound good. I I guess I'm I'm you know it, you 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 know stock library only give you so much control. You know what I mean? It's it's not designed the same way that um libraries like these are are designed like Spitfire native instruments. Like they obviously focus more on instrument and the technology behind it. Dolls like Studio One focus on it the 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 doll running smoothly and it connecting with different things smoothly. Obviously, Studio One personas their main concern is not instruments right now, as you can see. They only have like four or five instruments, and they just use those and just stock a bunch of stuff, which is not a not an issue, not a problem. But um, you know, just you know, like Spitfire obviously got it on lock, right? There's another one. There's a few other ones that I I can't think of. But I'm think I'm I'm only talking about Spitfire because that's what I can think. That's I have their stuff and I I can vouch for them and their sounds. Um, I you know listening to their like you know listen to their their um their demos on there too. Like when you visit Spit Spit Spitfire Audio, listen to their demos. Them demos are bananas. But I know. Pros, like if you're in the pro category, you're using several things. You're not only using Spitfire, you know. Some pros may only have one library from them, you know what I'm saying, and, and use other things and mesh it together to make it sound thick and full. Again, it just depends on what the project calls for. So it just it's just a slew of things. The, actually, you know, if, if you want to go there, the pros have access to full orchestral, the, the actual, like, the, the 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 crew like recording live live instruments like rounding up the people who actually play the record play the 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 cue or whatever it is you know the pros have access to the entire band that's what the pros do now <laughs> if you ain't got it like that People like me and whoever will buy the libraries and and do the best we can to make this stuff sound as good as possible. That's that's really the gist of it. If you got access to a string ensemble that can play you anything you want because you got a budget, then that's that's a pro level because string string players will play it. You know, they will play it the way that it's supposed to be played, which means it comes with those certain octaves, right? There's a certain octave range that a cello have versus a viola versus a uh, string, a bass um, violin or, or, you know, you, the, the, the um, clarinets versus the flutes, the um, um, trumpets versus trombone. You know, there's different octaves and ranges that they play according to how the instrument is, 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 is designed. You know what I mean? And that is one of the things that um, I've noticed a lot that these instruments, these plugins, they, they focus on those areas. You know, like Native Instruments was the first ones I know that does that. Like they're set up where after a certain octave, you can't play the cello that high because the cello natively is not playing inch that their instruments on a really high range you know what i mean if you need to go higher than the cello natural range then you have to go and grab another instrument which would probably be like a a string or something like that or vi a violin or viola whatever you know what i mean and then play that octave you know what i mean in logic when i was using logic logic didn't do that at that time when you pull up a cello sound, the cello was everything. It was all octaves. It was just so you, <laughs> you just never know. But like I appreciate like that's I think that's when I really got locked into Native Instruments because they, their stuff was set up to respect the instrument range. So that way, when you play the instrument, 
you know, first of all, if you don't know anything about this type of stuff, you learn the ranges like, oh, okay, so a violin, they play this range, so I could, you know, do that, this, you know what I mean? You're not going to take a flute and go an octave way low. Like, I mean, you can. There are some instruments that allow you to do that, but, you know, understanding the octaves of the range and then a French horn, um, French horns, uh, bugle horns you know what i mean just understanding that stuff yeah it's just so that that's the gist of it you know that type of stuff the technology that goes behind these things like it gets more expensive i would imagine as you guys saw twenty five thousand dollars if you want everything from spitz by you know the technology that goes behind this stuff um yeah but at the end of the day, you know, you spent $25,000 on something like that and you don't know what you're doing, you still going to suck. Boom. You still going to suck. You still going to sound like a crap. You, the, the, the amount of money you have does not make you a pro or a, a, a beginner or whatever. It just, it just, it, it's all about the user and what you use. Do not waste time trying to buy the the most expensive stuff be thinking that it's going to make you sound good because it it won't is it that there, there is it's it's it's, it, it's a better quality the more money you spend the better quality you get but that's just subjective because we got plugins like out of nowhere these days where you can make stuff sound even better than stock stuff i could take a a uh, uh, sound in presence and make it sound like a million dollar like I paid some stream players to play it based on the plug-in I can grab a plug-in and make that joint sound sweet you know what I mean and understanding how to slur when need to you know or you could do that stuff by yourself in stock plug-in slur or tremellos or or um, runner-ups or whatever but you got to know how to do that stuff and that's where native instruments I think in my opinion takes the cake because they have instruments in there that can do that stuff for you and you don't have to so it it's like a faster workflow i guess is what you're doing you're paying for better quality and you're paying for the ease of use you can do runner ups you can use key switches to switch up different things you know what i mean that's also something i i, I you know native instruments was doing for a long time and yeah Versus some versus you actually having to actually push in every note to make them swell and runner ups and turn up the volume up and you know automate everything you know I think that's where these companies they um they capitalize that you know what I mean that's why you got um people like um Acusonus is a, is is a good one you know they got a bunch of plugs. To help clean up your audio, like if you if you if you recorded something from like a your camera or something like that, and you want to clean it up because you got a lot of background noise, well they got plugs in there to make it easy for you to clean that stuff up. Using only one knob, maybe one or two knobs, and a couple of buttons in there, and that's it. Versus you actually going in and editing that stuff one by one. They got a, they got one for breaths where take out the breaths. Like automatically put slap that on there and and level up everything. Yeah, there's some pretty nice plugins out here these days, but you know, you know, it's getting dark. That means it's time to end the stream. So, um, I definitely appreciate you guys. We've been in here for what four hours? Yeah, about four hours. So I'm not gonna go to five hours today. So I'm gonna finish this up. You use massive X808. Yes, I do. I I do it. Yeah, I use it often. As a matter of fact, every patch from the Phantom is a stat. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know that. Is in fact is the Phantom being used that much? Like really? But they must have updated to where it can do a bunch of stuff. I don't know. The Phantom was like. This is a keyboard. These companies can afford to buy Spitfire. They are probably use it for the tax write-off. Mm, possible. So discover a package with that would okay. You said what's free? I missed that. Back up. Yeah, back it up. <laughs>
Yeah, Spitfire has a uh, this thing called Labs. It's free. Like their basic stuff. I see what I really do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to make that section longer. I gotta play with it, have fun. Cause I know that's like one of those things where you just getting in and it just ended too soon. Even the original, um I made it about two forty. Yeah, so I'ma extend it and get it going for real. For real, for real. All right, Devin, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Um I had fun. I appreciate you guys. And it's funny how my picture just turned from light to dark. The vibe is set right now. I'm ready to go. But I'm not gonna let this thing go for five hours. All right, y'all. I'm just observing something. NYC. Peace and blessings to you all. My name is Ella once again from Creative Sound. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Say it with me. Paint your picture. Stay creative without rules. Once again, please, peace and blessings to all of you guys. Appreciate y'all. Till next time, till next time.